sort of a decorate my work planner with me type uh, video. Um, I've done quite a few of them. They are not in order by month. They're just kind of in order by how I decided to do them. And so today I am going to be doing November, which I am kind of making it more of a fall theme. And I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do just because I didn't really have like a good stencil. So I'm kind of playing it by ear. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is an Archer and Olive um, book. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Huh. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to stamp. I think I'm going to stamp some uh, pumpkins and then I'm going to do some leaves. I'm going to stencil some leaves. That's what I think I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to stencil. So first I'm going to stamp this and um, so I'm gonna stamp there and here so I'll do In here and pumpkin. Here, so do four pumpkins, and there we go. I think that's good. And then I think I'm going to do a it's like not very well. I can see it very well, but I can see it just good enough to be a mask. So I'm going to cut a little mask out and I'm going to put that over my pumpkin. And I don't need to be too careful because I really only need like the bottom of the pumpkin to be covered and the side for the most part. Oh. Okay, all right, so here we go. There's my pumpkin mask. I think it fits like that. And then I'm just going to use a piece of washi to hold that down. Let's see, so I'm using my, um, my favorite things. And... So I'm going to get this down. Like that. Okay, so now let's see. I'm going to get my green and I think I'm going to do it on this pea pod. This pea pod. Ooh, things are flying. Okay, so now let's just get this down enough so I can at least get a little bit of something going on. I might have to hold it because it doesn't want to do it because I'm, I'm at the very bottom here. That's all right. Okay. So, just a little bit of leaves there, kind of backwards leaves, work out the way I thought. I think it's supposed to go this way, weird. Um, okay, let's see if this looks more what I'm thinking of. I think that's more of okay. 
All right, now I'm getting the hang of it. There we go. All right. Now I'll just be too concerned. Good enough for me okay so there we go did a little bit of color for that and I'm going to put this back in here so I can put this away and let's see what will I do next so I have my pumpkins I'm going to color those in in a minute and let's see I need to stamp my put that there I need to stamp my other little friends. So let's see. Let's stamp. Hmm. Let's see. I need to stamp my um, My scarecrow is going to be such a pain in the behind to color. I know that much. Maybe I don't color them in. We'll see. So let's just detailed well, that's not too bad so we have that guy and then we have this guy which this guy I'm going to have sitting here and let's see what else Get my acorn right here in the corner cute. Actually, I think I'm going to have him in the other corner too because I like it. That. And let's see. And then this one. Together, I think. And I think I'm just going to do this. Actually, I think I'm going to do this in a, in a color. All right, I'm going to do this one in. Pumpkin. 
because why not? Thanks. <clears throat> and then pumpkin. All right, happy fall. I am ready to do a little bit of coloring. And let's see here. Coloring, huh? I think I need some orange. All right. So I'm going to start with coloring my pumpkins. And I'm just going to color these pumpkins all in orange and so this gives it time to dry too because it's a very um, wet ink um, but my Copics will bleed through and I don't want the bleed through. It does not look good, but I use these, no bleed through and I can color and, um, everything is just looking so good. I'm really excited about this, um, planner. This is going to be my best, my best yet. Oh, I think that part should be brown. Oops over it so I'm just going to color them all the thing my suggestion too when you're doing a project like this oops I did the same thing is you want to probably keep your coloring simple as much as possible you know use the same colors um, just be consistent with like um, like I stamped all of my months using the same stamp set. All of my, my days of the week will be done with the same stamp set. And that is a good way of making it easier on yourself. So I'm just going to do this. I don't screw it up so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my pumpkins and let's see what my color next maybe my maple leaf at least they're easy to color so yeah I just you know I've been doing a work planner for a little while and um, I definitely like I like it but you know I just needed to upgrade from the composition book which was great because I do think composition books are really fabulous and they're really great um, for economic reasons um, they're very sturdy but they can't take a lot of color ink stamping so they can't take a lot of that there's nothing but ghosting and bleed through so if you want to be really creative the composition book you got to make some adaptations to it okay <clears throat> and even then there's no guarantee that that's going to be good a good fit. So what I'm going to do is and because these are changing leaves so they're all different colors I 
All right, so there's that. <clears throat> now we have our cutie pie. Um, scarecrow. Okay, and patch here. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, so, I'll do the best I can with this scarecrow. I don't find him super easy to color. Okay. Okay, let's see here. All right, so now let's see. I think where I do bring in some low. And Okay, so this is going to be on Saturday, where my scarecrow is sitting in the row for Saturday, and I'm going to work on Saturdays, so it's not a big worry. I might put something there sometimes, you know, there might be something I want to remind myself or whatever, but generally speaking... That day of the week doesn't get a lot of love. And let's see. Let's do the hat. Because we don't want to have our colors be just easier when the colors are relatively the same. And let's see, that bird, what's up with that bird? <clears throat> Alright, I think it's a chicken. <laughs> I'm going to make it more chicken. Uh... All right, there we go. <clears throat> now I'm going to do this guy. And I feel like I don't have enough colors. Okay. I have like every single, um, <laughs> I have like every single color out right now. I think this is okay. All right. 
right, now we're going to do <clears throat> the acorn. Have a look and see what my choices are. All right, light, this light brown is going to be the choice. And is that okay? So now I'm going to do I think it looks really good. There we go. And looking pretty good. I think we'll just do that. Let's see, what did I do with this? <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to do just a tiny bit hopefully I'm getting it's like I want it to be subtle but not so subtle I can't see it oh there we go yeah okay and well you can see it but it looks really good it's very subtle bits of color and that's good enough for me bottom part. I think it looks good. <clears throat> I do need to do a little bit of something. I need to put it there. It's time to finish. All right, I need to do that, and I'm going to do that in a very lovely orange. <clears throat> this is an acrylic pen. These are acroclips from um, Archer and Olive. And this came in a box that I had gotten from them. It was their Valentine's Day box. And it came with the Brady Red. And it came 
with this orange, which I'm going to use to color um, my November. Just gonna color this in this pretty orange and then I have to finish my stamping I have to stamp the um, days of the week this one ended up being quite involved it's like doing a a scrapbook layout almost except no pictures and almost there getting there figure if people don't want to hear and watch me color they can fast forward some people might like it because it's a little bit soothing maybe I don't know it's soothing to do it okay. so let's just This one came out very cute. Yeah. All right, there's the November. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and stamp <clears throat> our days of the week so and I'm just using this stamp set from um, paper tray ink I have had it for quite a while but you can find these days of the week stamps like everywhere I just happen to really like these the thoughts perfect the size is perfect for what I'm doing and so that's kind of why I use this one, but also I'm being consistent. But yeah, this is Wednesday and Thursday. Saturday and I'm going to do notes and tasks Okay. Yes. Okay, now I am just going to do the finishing touches. 
to make this beautiful. So the first thing I'm going to do is outline my month. And it really looks good too. I don't know if this is my favorite one that I've done so far. It might be. This one's really cute. And the colors are really great. So I'm going to do a playlist of all the ones that go um, with decorating this particular planner that way people can see all of them and get ideas for how they can decorate their own planner so there's that and then i'm gonna do let me see i'm sorry my hand big old hand in the way okay and All right, so there's that one. And this really does make a big difference. All right, so let me just do these pumpkins. And All right, pumpkin. And I'm going to do some more pumpkins. These pumpkins are really popping now off the page. So it's, I don't know if you can see the difference, but it's a huge difference. I almost forgot to put the numbers down. That'll be the next thing that I do. Or the last thing that I do, because we're almost done here. So you saw me all do this in real time. that and All right. It is looking good. All 
All right. So there's that. And then I'm going to do this guy right here. Just a little bit of him. I can be seen. All right. There's that guy. And then I'm just going to do some of this because some of it is like can't really tell like where the hat is right and go and so just a little bit of outlining maybe it's not totally necessary but I feel like a little bit kind of helps all right okay well i'll just do this part right here all right so i just can't stop All right, now it is completely finished. It's my November. Does that look good? Darn, thank you so much for watching. This is Cindy Crane with the Heart.